Hi, I'm Rebecca Corey, and I'm the director of Nafasi Art Space and the co-curator of About Time, the Exhibition, a series of artistic interventions throughout Stonetown, Zanzibar, taking place during Zanzibar International Film Festival 2016. The exhibition features work by artists from Uganda, Kenya, Tanzania mainland, and Zanzibar, using media such as film, photography, tapestry, and performance. The exhibition invites viewers to consider the concept of time through the lens of history, heritage, and memory. All right, my name is Nicholas and I'm from Nafasi Art Space. I'm in Zanzibar for the About Time exhibition. My interest in photography ends in photography. And this place is almost like it warps time in a different, differently from any other place, you know? Because, yeah, and that's, I think that's the main characteristic of Stone Town. So to have the, the, the theme of, the, the theme about time has many, many, many interpretation. And, I, and, and I'm, I'm, I was happy to meet different, see how different uh, artists have interpreted the, 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 the theme. It is about the process of change, you know, and the artists, the works of art, they are one way of trying to document that change whether it be via tapestry, photography, or film, it talks about, it, 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 it links back to what Zanzibar is, specifically Stone Town. And for me, I did, uh, I did interpret it in the form of Tarab as a metaphor for change, and why Tarab? Because Tarab has seen that in itself is sort of like a mixture of different tradition from all across the Indian Ocean, where the Daos would go. And, and, and that it came here, it didn't stop, just was frozen in the form that it was in the beginning. It kept on evolving. It's an interesting thing, and it was really, really nice. <laughs> My name is Anul Shivji, uh, I'm a filmmaker based in Dar es Salaam, Tanzania. Um, my artwork is called Yapuna Cheka like Nikaro Kanauma, which is Swahili for even though I'm laughing, my soul hurts. So in my piece, it's a seven minute short film where I juxtapose different images back and forth that play around the mainstream stereotypical ideas of what Zanzibar is, from the foreign gaze versus the local gaze uh, of, of the tourism industry, and then the second segment of it takes a historical moment, the revolution, how it's perceived by Zanzibaris versus how it's perceived by uh, the contemporary scene. And then towards the end of the short piece, we're showing ideas of development and uh, what you would call first world development in Zanzibar at the expense of things like World Heritage Sites, which of course is part of the discourse, like what do we define as the World Heritage Site? And why should we just preserve, why should we focus everything on preservation when Zanzibaris want to live?
asked me, did you do this yourself? And she asked what it means. And I told her, women is a door of life. Mother is hemming the life of child in their womb. And we hem the life of child when they're in her hand. I'm working with a group we call SASIC, a group of women. We started in 1992 officially, but we launched our shop in 1993. We use needle to save a life, and the mother is alive. Because we make a children, we raise them, so we raise the world, we raise the army, we raise the doctor, we raise everyone. And how we raise it in here, Sasik took a part, we raise children by using a needle. That's why we did. I did that woman with a big belly, pregnant, <laughs> and the needle, and she's in between the door. Not outside, not inside, because she's opening the lie. My name is James Murioki. Um, I'm, a, I'm an artist living and working in Nairobi. I've done work in public spaces before, um, but it's always exciting to go into a new space. I mean, it's, I mean, one could never exhaustively say that you know a space, but you know, art is always a process. It's not a thing, for me, it's not the thing that I end up making, but the process of making and interacting and being in that thought process. And what I ended up doing is, um, I honestly wasn't sure what I was going to do, but I was really keen on coming and, you know, making some new thoughts and new work here, uh, but still working with uh, the medium I prefer often to use, which is photography, and um, looking at what photos mean for, for societies or spaces. So I ended up sort of going through the market just before each, looking at what people were buying, and found objects that, you know, very ordinary, regular people buy for their houses or whatever. And they made photographs of those works and presented them in this space, which is basically like a tunnel or a passage through a building that was used as, a, as an orphanage in the past. So I end up sort of juxtaposed, you know, putting two images together. So, like diptychs, where one image is of a, an object I found and one image uh, would be sort of an image of what is very sort of marketed as an image of Zanzibar. My name is Eric Mukalazi. I'm from uh, I'm from uh, Kampala, Uganda, and I'm here as part of the About Time exhibition, showcasing a video and doing a video installation. So my, my installation is called uh, Postcards from Zanzibar. It's, uh, it's, the installation is a meditation space with a little bit of cushions and a, a mukeka, a traditional style, a traditional way, a Swahili traditional way of sitting. So we cre I created this meditation space, and the video is showing uh, a video that I made about a kanga, which was the symbol of freedom, that is now turned into a symbol of tradition, and uh, hence meaning that the, 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 the freedom symbol is dying out. Mm -hmm. 